Hey, Scorpio. God, we welcome the highest to high in light, love, peace, purpose, strength, wisdom, courage, and truth. Grateful for awareness, open to healing and change. God, what does Scorpio need to uh, know? What messages does Scorpio need, please? What messages does Scorpio need, please? Thank you for allowing me to see it with clarity. And um, thank you for allowing me to get the message out with compassion. God, what messages does Scorpio need? What messages does Scorpio need, please? God, what messages does Scorpio need, please? What messages does Scorpio need? We're gonna get six cards. That's the plan, at least. And then we're going to um, clarify them. Have a little fun. What messages does Scorpio need, please, God? What messages does Scorpio need, please, God? What messages does Scorpio need, please, God? What messages does Scorpio need? Thank you so much for allowing me to help others. Thank you. God, what messages does Scorpio need? Please. Messages, confirmation, clarity does Scorpio need, please. What messages, confirmation, clarity does Scorpio need, please. Ooh. I knew seven was coming out. <laughs> right when I said we're going to get six, I'm like, mm, I don't think that's going to work. That's why I kind of laughed. Because it's like, <laughs> I say six, but God, like, mm, no, nah, you need seven. But now I want eight because I want it to be even. So maybe I should just roll with it. We can roll with this, I guess. Overall energy. Oh, man, everybody is getting this. Everything is fine. I typically do not read in reversals, but sometimes I will, sometimes I won't. I just do what I'm called to do. All right, so everything is fine. Clearly, Sagitt I mean, I'm so sorry. I just finished Sagittarius. Clearly, Scorpio, you're walking away from something. I honestly feel like you moved away from one relationship that was codependent and now you're focusing on um, just kind of letting the situation go. Now, some of y'all are looking at it. I feel like some of y'all moved away from something only to move into another relationship. You know how they say same face, you know, different face, same person. It's almost like y'all keep running into this Y'all are in a cycle where you keep running into the same type of people. You're attracting the same type of people. So you moved away from one thing that was unhealthy in order to find balance. And then you find yourself codependent or in another unhealthy situation that left you feeling drained and um, didn't bring much happiness to your life. So now you're at this place like, why does this keep happening? Okay. I want to say, I feel like it keeps happening, Scorpio, because you aren't really being real with yourself because you're pretending everything is fine when no, every, it hurts. You're not letting yourself soak and sit in that grief, in that pain. You're moving on. It feels like you're moving on so fast that you're not learning the lesson. And when you don't learn the lesson, the lesson will repeat itself, okay? I feel like a lot of you may be afraid to be alone, okay? You're afraid to make a decision because you know the decision is going to lead to you being by yourself. It's like you know what you want, but you don't know how to get it because getting it requires you to be by yourself, okay? So you constantly are juggling. You're juggling. Should I? Should I? Should I stay? Should I go? You know? Well, really, you know... Yeah, you should. You do need to be by yourself right now. You need to sit with yourself right now because you need to find out why. Why am I turning my head from this pain? Why don't I want to stop and look at why I'm accepting this? Some of you may have some issues with your 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 mother or your father, but there's some there's some type of nurturing that needs to go on within yourself. And it needs to come from yourself. Some of y'all may not have had the best relationship with mom or your caregiver. But it's like whatever you didn't get, you're needing to give yourself that right now, okay? 
there's balance that needs to be had here. But it's like you don't want to make the decision in order to, uh-oh, in order to um establish that balance, okay? Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go up a little bit. Okay. Dang, I don't like that. It's crooked. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's you need to find balance here, okay? Yeah, there's something. Let's see. Let's clarify. What's this moon about? There's this fear here. There's this fear of being alone. This fear of walking down this path. This unknown territory. And I get it. I get it. It's scary. It's hard to let something go when they've been around. Or something or someone go when they've been around for so long. But it's necessary for growth. Okay? You learn as you grow. As you go on your journey. You learn that everyone that is around is not meant to stay around. And ultimately, in hindsight, you look up back and be like, ooh, why did I even want them around? They were like so gross. Like they were so disgusting. They they were so into themselves and they didn't care about me. Like why did I even allow them to be in my life, in my space, you know? You learn that as you go on this journey and you know, we come into this world by ourselves. At some point, it's meant for us to be alone to reconnect with ourselves. We get so caught up in work, in life, in love, in all of this, in other people. You know what I'm saying? That alone time, that alone time is very, very necessary, okay? And if you don't figure out and work on fix the issue, you're just going to keep repeating it, and that's what's happening with you. You're leaving one unhealthy situation and going straight into another unhealthy situation because you aren't taking the time to sit and be alone because there's fear there. Yeah, and I just said that. When this came out in reversals, sometimes I reversal, sometimes I don't. In this case, it's like you're moving fast. You're moving fast out of fear. Let me get one more, please, for the moon. Or no, let's, um, I didn't need that for it. So, let's just get one for the moon. Okay. Um... Yeah, there's this feeling you have that there's this, this, you feel unworthy, you don't feel good enough, and you're attracting people that treat you that way. That people, you're attracting people that don't want to deal with you, okay? You're attracting people that don't, um, that maybe aren't even honest with you about certain things. You're attracting people that don't even look at themselves, okay? Because you're not looking at yourself. And I hope it doesn't sound like I'm being harsh. I, too, went through all of this, okay? Kept attracting the same. And I'm about to be 40 in about three weeks, okay? Listen, I just... And no, no, no. No, not even just. I'm still getting myself together. But now I know my worth. Now I don't stay in situations as long as I used to. You know what I'm saying? I get up and out of there. I used to hold on for years, two, three, five years, holding on to a bad situation, a situation I knew I should have never even been in. But now it's like, okay, it's getting shorter and shorter and shorter because I know what I deserve and I know what I want. All right. What do we have for this two of Pentacles for Scorpio? Yeah. So the you. There, there are mind games being played here. And I feel like, Scorpio, I'm going to just go ahead and say it. Some of these mind games is you playing you. Like, you are playing yourself. This is one of those situations when I say, did they play you or did you play yourself? Because you saw what was going on. You saw that this person made you feel less than, okay? You saw that this person could not give you what you deserved, yet you stayed. And you kept acting like, oh, should I, like... Should I stay? Should I go? But like, knowing you should go. But again, there's that fear. Maybe this person had money. Maybe this person helped you feel secure financially. But either way it goes, you know, this person was a monster, like for whatever reason. Like, they had a grip on you and the situation just wasn't good. Okay? What do we have for Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio, please? What do we have for Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio? Queen of Wands. So Nine of Pentacles is all about being single, okay? Focusing on yourself, watching your money grow. Have you ever heard somebody say when you're in the wrong type of situations, and I mean relationships, when you're in the wrong type of relationships, even your money gets slower. 
you lose money. You can't hold on to money. Like, nothing grows. When you're in the right relationship, even if it's a relationship with yourself, your money is going to grow. You're going to grow emotionally, spiritually, financially, okay? So it's like you're trying to take action to step into that energy, okay? They say the Nine of Pentacles is the energy right before the Empress. So it's like you're headed in the right direction, but you're just needing to let go of these ideas that you have of yourself. Like I said, maybe it's from the past. It is from the past for sure. Um, maybe it's from a, a situation where, you know, you felt abandoned. So you keep getting people that make you feel, that keep triggering those same feelings you've always felt. That keep hurting you. That keep stabbing you in the back. Oh my God. The tower. Yeah. People that can't offer you anything. All right. That make you always on guard. Like, Get, make you anxious. If don't, if nothing else, your body will tell you if someone is good for you or not. How did this person make your body feel? And I'm not talking about sexually. I'm talking about when they called you, when you saw their number pop up on your phone. Did you get anxious? That ain't love. That's not cute. You don't deserve that. You deserve somebody that when they when you when they call your phone, you feel peace. You feel relief. You feel happiness and joy. What is this Queen of Cups about, please, for Scorpio? Thank you, God. What is this um, Queen of Cups about for Scorpio, please? Yeah. It's a relationship that did not work out. Something that made you feel stuck, okay? The need to nurture yourself. The need to maybe reach out to a parent or a mother. I mean, or a mother. A, a, a parent or a um, parent figure a grandmother, somebody that loves you, somebody that you can trust and just kind of open up, talk to them about it so you can find yourself out of this Five of Cups energy, okay? No regrets. Two of Wands. What do we have for Scorpio? Two of Wands. Waiting. Like I said, you know what you want to do, but you have to take action. You're tired of waiting. And for some of y'all, you could just be saying, okay, this is what I want, but you're not taking action to do that. You're not doing what you, you want a healthy relationship. Okay, well, if you want a healthy, happy relationship, you got to get out. You got to let go of these folks that don't make you feel that, that don't reflect that happiness. You can't let one bad thing go and go into another one. Yeah, got to stop juggling. You have to make a choice here. What's this justice about for Scorpio, please, God? What's this justice about for Scorpio? Yes. The scales are balancing out. You are going to find emotional happiness. It's meant to happen. Okay? It's karma. It's coming. It's karming. <laughs> You're tired of the people not giving to you the, what you give to them. Okay? You want something secure. What do we have for this two of swords? But you got to do the work. Two of swords. Oh, wow. All these flipped out. Making a decision. Yes. Standing in your truth. Let me go ahead and get this. Cutting off these negative relationships and making a decision. I told you I read how I feel I'm drawing to read. So, yeah. You're, you're cutting something out in order to get what you want. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Queen of Cups. No more pouring into people that don't pour into you. No more watering dead plants. Okay? All right. So, yes, Scorpio. It just sounds like you have to do a lot of work. Okay? Also, show gratitude for the, these past um, experiences, these past relationships, for your past journey. Because they're making you who you are. And you needed them, obviously. What do we have here? Abundance. Yes. Once you release what is not for you, that is when abundance comes into your life. Okay? That is when that is when you see things grow. If it ain't growing, it's dead. Wow, Scorpio. This is confirmation. Okay? Some of y'all may have let go. Matter of fact, I'm going to just show you. I'm going to show you this so you can see this up close, okay? I am a limitless being, and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality, okay? Yes. Abundance and abundance. Now, tell me. Tell me that's, that, that's not a coincidence. Oh, wrong deck. What is this? Attraction. 
That's from the last read. And regret, okay? I know I cannot change the past. Accepting what happened, happened. Y'all, tell me how this happened. Look at this. Now, I just showed y'all this was on the bottom of the deck. Gratitude. And look, it's on the bottom of this deck, too. Y'all are getting double confirmation here. This is beautiful. Like I said, don't trip on yourself. Don't be like, oh, my God. I was so stupid. Why did I hold on to that person? Like, they were so stupid. Why didn't they hold on to me? No. Be grateful that they treated you the way they did. Because... It's going to help you going forward. It's helping you. Be grateful. Be grateful. Ground and center. It's necessary to ground and center, Scorpio. Get out in nature, okay? Reconnect with yourself. Let's get one last message, please, for Scorpio. Not one last message. I have... Um, Two other decks I'm going to pull from just uh, as far as Oracle. But let's just get this last little message, last little reminder just to confirm the reading that, please, for Scorpio. All right. Oh, I feel like you was working too hard at something that was dead. You need to let it go. It's over. It's done. It's time to focus on yourself. It's time to focus on your growth. This abundance is not here twice for no reason. Okay. We have for Scorpio, please. Uh-uh. We have for Scorpio, please. That. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Mask. Not showing true feelings. Hide. Person. Um. Hide. Personality. Person. Personify. Huh. <laughs> Pretend. Delude. Gaslighting. That's what this is. Scorpio. Everything is fine when you got ten knives, ten swords in your back. Make it make sense. All right, so for Scorpio, we have healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Yes, this is why I say just confirm, confirm my reading, Jesus. Thank you. Love calls. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you, letting you know. Camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. Hand of cards, take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. With this card, I feel like the word to focus on is completion. Hand of cards, the word to focus on is not showing hand. Everything is fine. Um, yeah. All right, God, last deck. What can um, Scorpio focus on this week? that will help them on their healing journey. What can Scorpio focus on this week that will help them with their healing journey? Okay. This is what I'm focusing on. Aromatherapy, okay? So maybe get into it, sit down, get you some smells you like. What do you like? I love tea tree oil. Um, maybe some of y'all love lavender. Me personally, I can't. I can't with lavender. Maybe some of y'all love it though. Lavender, tea tree oil. Um, what other smells are there? Uh, what other oils? I can't think. Cinnamon, vanilla. Um, goodness. You get it. Rub some oil on your hand. Smell it and just sit for a moment, okay? But also, again, it's important for you to get outside. Oh, I didn't even notice these over here. Look for fairies. Burning bowl ritual. I've done that before with my therapist. And clean your space. Okay, Scorpio, clean your space. Well, shoot, since I read all those, I might as well read the one I put up. Sweet treats. Cook something that makes you feel good, okay? Emotionally and physically, not just the not just the candies and the chocolates. Like, cook something or eat something that really makes your body feel good. Burning bowl ritual really fast. Get a bowl, write down the toxic traits that maybe you have the toxic traits you keep seeing repeating in your um, relationships. Write down the toxic thoughts you have of yourself. Um, we talked about things from the past. Maybe you experienced things from the past that didn't make you feel good. Write that down. Light it. Put it in a bowl. Don't close your eyes. Watch it. But just imagine it all burning away. Okay? 
Good luck, Scorpio. See you soon. Bye-bye. Now, for some reason, this will not let me stop it. That is